Happy St. Patrick's Day! And, um, the youth. When you think of the youth, what's the first word that comes to mind? Don't say it, Katie, not yet. Let's talk about that. Oh, long lead in. That's me and Mario. No, it's Frankie. Good morning, beautiful people. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And uh, shout out to my nephew, Logan Haley. I love that kid. Today's his birthday. Today's his birthday. Happy birthday, Logan. What, 22? 22. 22. To be 22. Anyway, so, youthfulness. Youth. Youthfulness is what I Teenagers. Mean. Middle schoolers. Oh, elementary. Baby. Um, <clears throat> to me, when I think of youth, I think of energy and uh, innocence and wonderfulness. And um, sometimes wiser than adults. Because they don't have any of that prejudice or filters or anything like that. I think it's just like, and we laugh at that sometimes. You're like, oh, that's cute. He, he did this. But if an adult did that, it would not be cute. That would not be cute. So, what's your words in your head, Katie, for youthfulness? Well, I, my first thing was annoying. Annoying. Because <laughs> I'm thinking of high, of middle schoolers and high school. She is a teacher, so there you go. But I mean, they can be annoying sometimes. I mean, who else? Who can? I also think that the children are our future. The children are our future. <laughs> oh, sorry. Treat them well. So, it's interesting. A lot of times in the in the Bible. Uh, especially in the Old Testament, and uh, actually a little bit in the New Testament, that children were in charge of things before they became an adult. And I always wondered, why would God do that? And after studying a lot, um, I think because they have an innocent about innocence about them, and they can surround themselves with people who, well, sometimes manipulated them, and sometimes were good for them, but in all, youth... Are good to have. You know, we should want their opinion because they're the future, like Katie said. Like I said. So, actually, in First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve, it says that don't look down on the youth, but set an example for life uh, and purity and um, and something about righteousness. But anyway, <clears throat> but a lot of times when I was growing up, I wanted to go ahead of myself before I grew up. So let me just take an example. I became a Christian at eight, um, around 13 or 14 years old, I wanted to be with the elders and know what they were doing and study the Bible thoroughly. You know, I, I preached my first sermon at 15. I went to college at 16. Um, I started my first ministry around, you know, uh, 19 or 20, and I, I haven't stopped since. And I think, and I haven't really grown up. I'm like a, a 15 year old trapped in a 46 year old body. Okay. Yeah. And I just think that sometimes we look down on youth as we're better than them. But you know, we did grow up. We we were youth at one time. I think we forget that. But in Second Chronicles 24 verse one says this. This is just like amazes me. And this is when you know uh, this king did right in the eyes of the Lord. This king did did evil on the side of the Lord, and then they compared him to Jeroboam. But anyway, that's a whole other story. But this one, Joash was seven years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 40 years. Who's Josiah? No, it's Joash. There is another one like that. Oh, okay. But, um, his mother's name was Zibia. She was from Beersheba. Now, and it keeps going on. It says, you know, he did right in the eyes of the Lord, and, and he knocked down all these things and, and brought them back to God. And he was seven years old, people. I mean, if God can entrust a nation with a seven-year-old, I'm pretty sure we should probably look at the youth and say, hey, what do you think? Now, we don't always have to go with what they think. We don't always have to go with what adults think. The leadership discerns between those two things and goes with what they need. But we should at least have their input. 
I truly believe in government, in, in church, in leadership, in school. I think we should look towards the youth a lot of times and, and not, not worry about our opinion all the time. And I think that's a really good thing. So my encouragement for you today is, uh, what youth are you looking at for an example? I think we should look down instead of up. Because sometimes adults have too much baggage, and sometimes they do more evil than you can think. And so I think we should look at the youth more often. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. You have a great Friday. Oh my goodness, it's Friday. I'll see you Sunday at 9.30 for Class 101. I encourage everyone to come to that. It's great discussion. I know it's early, but I, I encourage you, you can always come anytime at 9.30 in the morning. And then 11 o'clock is uh, service uh, in person and online. And then we have a um, leadership meeting at 12.30 that anybody's welcome to come to. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. You have a great Friday!